Hello everyone, today we're going to do some Pilates, so let's get started on our mat. We're going to start seated and we're going to have our feet right up at the front edge of the mat. Point the toes and we're going to hold the back of the thighs, lift our spine nice and tall, open the chest, shoulders back, breathe in. And then exhale, close the knees around the spine, let the shoulder blades pull apart, tuck the chin in towards the neck. And then slowly roll up the nice tall spine again, breathe in. Exhale, close the knees around the spine. Feel those shoulder blades pull apart again. And then rolling up, nice tall spine. Breathe in. Exhale, close the knees again, round that spine. Two more times here, rolling up, nice tall spine. Breathe in. Exhale, rounding that spine back down, chin towards the neck. And one more time, rolling up, nice tall spine. Exhale, close the knees around the spine. And then we're going to come down to our lower back here. Release the palms and begin to press those palms down. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Again, breathe in, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. If you want a little more challenge, you can pick up those feet to kind of a tabletop position. You can also try straightening the legs up and maybe even turning the legs out to a Pilates V stance. And all of these are just options. You can always go back to bed in these, but if you like a little more challenge, reach those legs out to an angle. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, two more sets, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last one, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, now on five, just hug those knees in, relax. Let your head turn side to side, just release any tension here. And then just begin to rock a little bit side to side as well, kind of massaging out that lower back. Breathing in, exhaling. Very good. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and bring those knees to a tabletop position. Keep our lower back flat and our arms are out to the side like a T. You can turn those palms down and we're just going to roll the knees over to one side. Breathe in. Exhale, engage the core, pull center. Roll the knees to that opposite side, breathe in. Exhale, pull center. Try to really keep those shoulders glued down to the mat here. And just keep engaging through that core belly button towards the spine as the legs come back center. If you wanna make this a little more challenging, you can straighten those legs. Side to hover, breathe in. Exhale, pull center. And side to hover, breathe in. Exhale, pull center. One more each way, side to hover, breathe in. Exhale, pull center, and last time, hover, breathe in, exhale, center. Very good job. From here, bring those hands right by the side, and we're going to lift up our hips, just place our hands under the low back, or you can keep them right by your side. We're going to turn the legs out to that Pilates V stance and lower the legs to an angle. You can choose to curl your chest up or keep your chest down. We're going to flex the feet, bend the knees, pull in, breathe in, exhale, push away and point those toes. So just think about that frog position with those legs, heels together, toes apart, knees pull open towards the shoulders. You're working through those inner thighs, lower abdominals, belly button is pulled back towards the spine. Breathe in, exhale, press out. Four more like this, breathe in, exhale, press out, and again in, exhale, press out. Just two more, keep going, breathe in, exhale, press out. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, press out. Very good. Now just relax that upper body. Pull those knees in one more time and place the balls of the feet and those toes on the floor. We're going to roll the hips up so our heels are up. We're just going to pump our hips up right here for 10, 9. Keep that breath going. 8, 7. Pumping up. 6, 5, 4, 3. Keep breathing here. 2. And on 1, just relax the hips. Let the knees drop open. And let's just bring our arms overhead. Just clasp the hands together. Just take a couple big breaths in and out. Just relaxing here, letting those inner thighs release. Letting those thighs open up. Just a couple more breaths. Very good. Once you feel ready, let's close left knee over right. Just to stretch out that outer left hip. Breathe in. And then exhale. Open up those knees and close right knee over left. Just stretching out through that sideways, through that hip. Breathe in. And exhale back center. Now we're going to close our knees and just plant our feet right under those knees. Lift your hips up and roll each vertebrae down so that your lower back lays flat. We're going to have a nice hip pelvis here. Arms are overhead, palms face up, breathe in. And we're going to exhale, roll up through each vertebrae up that spine. Hands coming down by our side, breathe in. Exhale, mount each 
vertebrae of the spine down, arms reaching overhead, just really stretching through the shoulders, breathing in, reaching those hands down by our sides, exhale, reaching the arms back overhead, a couple more times here, exhale, roll up, hands press by our sides, melt the spine down, arms back overhead, just take a few more moments, just checking in with your body, rolling up through that spine, breathe in, exhale, melt the spine down, two more like this, so just roll up, Press those hands by your side. Melt each vertebrae down, arms back overhead. Last one, breathe in, exhale, roll those hips up. And slowly roll down. Let's just take a moment here. Take our palms to face one another and we're gonna just lift just the shoulders up. Keep your head and chest down, just lift the shoulders. Feel the back of the shoulders stretching apart. Breathe in and then exhale, relax those shoulders nice and wide. Two more times, lift. Feel the shoulder blades pull apart, breathe in. Exhale, relax. And last one, lift those shoulders. Breathe in and exhale, relax. Now just keep that upper back nice and broad. We're gonna lift up our feet and just find a tabletop position with our legs. Just kind of that right angle. We're gonna breathe in and exhale, open out right arm, right knee, and then slowly close. You wanna keep your left side of your body very engaged so nothing else moves, just that right arm, right leg, and close. Two more like this. Out and close, isolating that right side of the body. One more, out, and close. Now reach that right arm, right leg long, and close back up to the center, right to that same position. Reach the right arm, right leg long, and close. You should really feel just that right side of the body working here. Good, two more. Reach long, and close. One more time, reach long, breathe in. Exhale, close, great job. Now left side, left arm, left leg open and squeeze to close. And left arm, left leg open. And squeeze to close. Just really isolating that left side of the body. And close, a couple more times, breathe in. Exhale, last one here, open and close. Now left arm, left leg reaches long and close. Left arm, left leg reaches out long and close. Just left arm, left leg. Reach the left arm overhead. Left leg reaches out, breathe in and close. Two more, out and close one more time out and close very good hug those knees rock a little bit side to side just kind of massage out that lower back from here we're going to take our legs lengthened up point through those toes and we're going to take our arms up as well we're going to curl up our shoulders and our lower back and try to reach those fingertips up towards the toes breathe in and then exhale relax through the lower back and through the shoulder blades in exhale curl up bounce on that mid back reach up and relax, lower back, upper back, shoulders. Two more times. Lift up, hold that balance for a moment, and relax. One more time here. Lift up, hold, and relax. Good, very nice job. Now from here, with straight arms and legs, we're gonna try repeating. Right arm, right leg side, squeeze in. And we're gonna go right away to left leg, left arm side, squeeze in. Reach right arm, right leg long, breathe in, exhale, pull in, and left leg, left arm long. Breathe in. Now let's see if we can kind of put that together. Both arms and legs open, breathe in. Exhale, close. Both arms and legs reach out and pull in. So we're gonna open those arms and legs out to the side, squeeze in, reach nice and long and pull in. So your core is holding everything tight in the center. And we're just using those abdominals to engage and hold our lower back on that mat. Breathe in, exhale, close. Reach out, breathe in. Exhale, close, two more. Out and close, reach it long, out and close. One more time, reach out and close and reach along and close. Very nice job. From here, hands come down by our side. We're gonna try a rollover. So you're gonna try to lift those hips and roll those legs overhead. Don't worry if that's not happening all the way today. So even if you get somewhere like this, just a little hip lift, still that abdominal work. So lift those lower abdominals, see if you can let the legs go overhead. If not, just do that small hip lift. Then we're gonna lift the legs back up, roll down, and lower the legs. Breathe in, exhale, lift. So maybe again, it's just maybe a small hip lift and lower. Or if you're up for it, take it all the way up and over. So take this at your own pace. So the full lift up and down, that's our jackknife. If you're doing the smaller lift, that's a great way to build up that strength to get eventually into this pose. So remember to use your abdominals it's not really about that momentum. We wanna just lower the legs and then just do that hip lift where you can. Maybe it's right there. 
If you can get it all the way up, go for it, but just lower and lift the legs. So they go all the way down, breathe in. Exhale up, find that lift. And again, repeating at your own pace. Take one more, breathe in. Exhale, very good. When you're ready, let those legs come all the way down to the floor. Reach those arms overhead, stretch your whole body long. Breathe in, and we're gonna exhale. Roll up to a seated position, nice and tall. Stretch out over the legs, inhale. Exhale, roll up nice and tall. Contract the abdominals and roll all the way back down. Breathe in. Exhale, rolling up to sit tall. Stretching out over the legs. Rolling up to sit tall, one vertebrae at a time. Melting into the mat. Take your time, no need to rush here. Breathe in. Exhale, use your breath to come up. Exhale, stretch forward. Sit nice and tall, contract those abdominals and roll down. And last one, breathe in. Exhale, roll up, stretch forward, come up. And then we're just gonna sit tall, flex our hands to the side, find those sit bones, flex our feet nice and tall, seated here. We're gonna twist twice to the left, two, breathe in. Exhale, twice to the right, one, two, inhale. stretch here. Imagine someone pulling those wrists forward, pulling your waist back. Big C-curve stretch through the spine. Breathe in. And then roll up. Lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, neck, and head. Let our hands slide behind our back. Fingers face the toes. Point through the toes. Roll the hips up. Lift. And breathe here. Take a moment. Breathe in. Exhale. And again. Breathe in. Exhale. Take one more big breath in. As we exhale, Stamp those feet down right under the knees. Lift up to our reverse table. Let that head drop back again. Stretch the front of your shoulders, the chest, the upper back. Feel those glutes lifting. Try to squeeze those hips up all the way in line with your knees. We're going to hold here for just a couple more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale again. Breathe in. Exhale. One more breath in. And then we're going to slowly release the hips. Very good job. And just keep your spine nice and tall. Chest forward. Fingers face the toes, so check that your wrists are turned. So your fingers face your toes. We're going to bend our elbows back and then straighten the elbows. So we're getting into our triceps. So this is a good place to start if you're not sure about supporting your full body weight. But if you feel up for that, you can raise the hips and it's the same thing. Just bend those elbows and straighten. We're going to go for eight. Some tricep dips here. Seven. So waking up those shoulders, waking up those triceps. Five. Try to keep those hips in line with those knees. Four. Bend and straighten, three, very good, here's two, and one, very good, one more time, press those hips up, and then release, very good, let's just find a seated position, now in the center of the mat, you can sit cross-legged or in a butterfly, we're just going to take a right arm across the chest, circle that wrist out, breathe in, exhale, reverse that direction, and then we're going to take a left arm across the chest, Circle that wrist out, and reverse direction. Very good, then from here, take one arm just behind your back, take a little stretch, maybe take a little lean over to the side, wake up that shoulder, come back up, other arm behind the head, and then just lean away. Great job, breathe in. Exhale back center, let's take a big side stretch, reach, lengthen, other way, nice big side stretch, breathe reach and lengthen and then come back center reach up breathe in exhale stretch forward just release those hips so if you'd like to bring your feet together for a butterfly for this stretch just take a few moments here beautiful job as we come up we're going to go ahead and bring our legs over to one side of the mat and just come all the way down. Let your head rest on your arm or up in your hand. And we'll take our legs a little bit forward and turn them out in that Pilates B stance. So we want to have heels together, toes apart. Make sure your legs are just a little forward of your body. We're going to take our top leg, sweep it forward, draw a circle up, and then way behind us. We just want to take a nice big circle through that leg up, around, way behind us. Two more like this. Like you're drawing half of a circle with that big toe. Last one. 
And then coming back into that Pilates C stance, heels together, toes apart. Let's reverse, take it back. Draw that circle all the way up into the front. And again, take the leg back. Up all the way to the front. Very good. Two more. Take it back. Up all the way to the front. One more time. Take the leg back. Up all the way front. Good. Now we push the leg back. We bend the knee. Reach the hand for the foot or ankle. Push the knee down in the hip board. And we're going to lift the bottom leg. Flex that foot. And just feel that inner thigh engage on that bottom leg. And stretching out the front of our hip and our quadricep on our top leg. Push that knee down. Push that hip forward. Very good job. We're going to Stand out the top leg and flex that foot and just let the bottom leg come lift up to meet the top leg. You can use your hand in front of you for support or you can take that hand away and have a little challenge. We're going to go eight, seven, six, five. Keep that breath going here. Four, three, two. Then on one, hold the leg up. Top leg goes down for eight, seven. Keep that breath going. Six, five. Keep breathing here. Four, three, two. And then on one, both feet together, we lift. And we go eight, seven, engage through that core, six, five, keep breathing here, four, three, two, and one. Good, point through those toes, bend the knees, place the feet behind us, front line of the body is flat, and we're going to prop ourselves up on our elbow, take our hand behind our head, lift the bottom hip, we're going to twist down, elbow towards the fist, open and open the top knee at the same time, so we close, twist and open for eight. Close, twist, open for seven. Breathe and exhale, close, twist, open for six. Inhale, exhale, here's five. Very good, here we have four, and open, three, and open. Inhale, exhale, here, two. Open, this is our last one, close, and open. Very good, reach the top arm long, close those knees. Let's just pump that hip up, eight, seven, keep lifting, six, Five, squeeze it up, four, three, two, and then on one, reach that arm long, inhale, exhale, drop the hip down, pull the knees in, and let's stretch towards the feet, circle our wrist out a little bit, reverse direction, stretch away from the feet, let's take a little mermaid stretch here, feet together, just twisting away from those hips, big breath in, and then exhale, let that go. As we come up here, we're going to go ahead, just swing our legs around to the other side and repeat. So head is either resting on our arm or maybe up in our hand. Legs are a little bit forward and turned out, heels together, toes apart. So we're going to use that top leg, inner thigh, to sweep forward, draw a big circle up and back. Imagine again as if you're drawing a big half circle with that big toe. Great job. Feel that hip stretching all the way back. Front of the hip should feel a little stretch there. Working through the glutes. Squeeze that glute as you reach back. One more time, front and back. Good, keep that bottom leg turned out as well. Now we reverse. We're gonna take the leg back. Up, all the way to the front. And again, sweep back. Up, all the way front. Two more. Back, up, all the way front. One more time, here we go. Sweep back, up, all the way front. Very good. Now push that leg back, bend the knee, reach the hand for the foot or ankle, press the knee down, press the hip forward, really find that stretch with the quadricep. So if your knee's kind of flying up, push it down, push it back, that's going to give you the best stretch. Lift the bottom leg, engage through that inner thigh, let's flex that foot, and then reach that top leg out, and we're going to just start to lift the bottom leg up to the top. Again, feel free to use your hand in front of you for support if you would prefer, or hand can go away. Six, five four, three, two, and one. Top leg goes down, eight, seven, six. Keep breathing, five, four, three, two. Then on one, both legs together. We lower and lift right here for eight. Keep that core engaged, seven, breathing, six, five. Exhale as you lift, four, three, very good, two. Now on one, let's point those toes, bend the knees, feet behind us, and prop ourselves up on our elbow. Hand behind the head, lift the hip. We're gonna bring elbow down and then open the top knee. So make sure that bottom hip stays lifted. Elbow down to the fist, open the top knee. Inhale and exhale. Six more, hang in there. Open up, keep that hip lifted. Five, really twisting through that upper body, through that upper back. Four, three, 
Good, keeping that core engaged, keeping that bottom hip lifted too. Last one, hold it up. Now reach that arm up, close those knees, and we're just gonna pump the hips up. Little pulses, eight, seven, pumping, six, five, four, three, two, very good, on one. Reach that arm overhead, and then lower the hip down. We're gonna pull the knees in, take a stretch towards the feet. Just again, circle out the wrist if you like. Reverse, keep that breath flowing, and then let's stretch away from the feet. Just stretch away, catch your breath here, breathe in. Feel very good. We're just gonna flip right on over to our belly here. And just stay for a moment on those elbows. So just find a place where those elbows are right under the shoulder. Lift the gaze up, stretch the front of the neck, breathe. Exhale, gaze down, stretch the back of the neck, keep pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Lift the gaze forward and let right ear drop to right shoulder. Center, left ear to left shoulder. And then just gently let that neck roll side to side, ear to one shoulder, ear to the other shoulder. Just one more time each way. We want to always make sure we have no tension through that neck, especially when we're about to do some back work. So now we lift our gaze forward, getting ready to work through our back. We're going to first lift our legs, engage the glutes, lower back and hamstrings. We're going to open the legs and close. You may choose to just stay here on those elbows. If you want to work a little more, you can reach those hands back and pump the palms up when the legs close together. Four, eight, seven, six, breathing, five, four, three, two. Now on one, see if you can bring your hands together behind the back, lift the chest, and we're gonna pull our heels in one, two times, release and turn our head to one side. Bring your hands right there on your upper back as high as you can. Let those elbows drop down. This stretches through our shoulders and releases through that upper back. So we're gonna take one more big breath in. Exhale, clasping those hands, reach the hands back, lift the chest, toes point back. Pull the heels in one, two. Turn the head the other way, relax those elbows. Exhale, lift through the chest, pull the heels in. Exhale, turn the head, relax those elbows. And again, lift, pull, pull. Turn the head, relax those elbows. Exhale, lift up, pull those heels in twice. Turn the head, relax the elbows, relax the shoulders. And last time, lifting up, pulse, pulse. Turn the head, relax, very good job. From here, bring those arms around to kind of a little goal pose position, elbows right out from the shoulders. We're just gonna do a little shoulder stretch. Taking your left hand under your left shoulder, just roll over to your right hip. And that right elbow is bent, so you're feeling a little stretch right into that arm. Just breathe there. Breathing into the shoulder, breathing into the chest. Inhale, and then exhale, come back center. Plant that left arm back down. The right hand is gonna push, you're gonna roll just a little bit to your left side. Feel that left front of the chest and through that shoulder stretch. Breathe in, and then exhale, back center. We're gonna take both elbows back down now, and we're gonna lift the elbows up first, then lift the chest and legs. Reach everything long. We're gonna to start to swim, alternating arm glutes. We're gonna go for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, almost there, 10, 9, keep breathing, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then on one, just reach those hands back, bring them under the shoulders, curl the chest up, breathe in, lift the gaze, and then exhale, slide those knees under the hips, and let's just Stretch back into that child's pose. Take a moment here. Beautiful, beautiful job just working into that back. Let's arch up to our hands and knees. Take a big cat stretch your head and tailbone down. Release head and tailbone up. One more time. Arch and release. And then we'll circle right arm high. Breathe in. Exhale, thread right arm under the left. Stretch between those shoulder blades. Inhale. And exhale, reach that arm back up nice and high. Take the right hand down, we'll take the left arm up, breathe in. Exhale, thread left arm under right. Again, twist through those shoulder blades. Breathe in. Exhale, lift that left arm back up nice and high. And then reach both hands out towards the front of your mat, coming into that puppy pose, stretching through the shoulders, chest upward back. You can even bend the elbows here to stretch the triceps a bit deeper if you like. 
One more big breath in. And then as we exhale, release the hands, round up to a kneeling position, roll the shoulders back. We're just gonna take our hands behind our back, open the chest, lift the heart, and then send the hips back one more time, coming through a child's pose and drawing those arms up. Breathe in, and then exhale, find a seated position. You are all done, you did a great job. Thank you so much for joining us today. So if you would like to do some more yoga, Pilates, or dance classes, just subscribe to the channel, and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day.